how are you? Welcome to our channel again. Um, we just came back from our first expo. That was more expo. We had the chance to be in the storyteller area over there in Missouri in the more expo. Really big expo and we had a blast. We were able to see amazing brands and meet amazing people. And one of the things everybody does in the expos is to buy stuff for, for their overlanding, right? But for us, we try to stick to the list because there's many, many, many things and you can end up spending a lot of money. So we try to stick up to uh, um, the list of the items that we found, um, that we saw that we had um, more need of, right? Um, one of the items that we got were a set of max tracks. Um, we had another set of traction boards, um, but it was off-branded and we wanted the mass tracks because they are um, They stack pretty nice and we got a set of max tracks because one of the things you can do in the expo is, is to find um, Gear and items in a really really good price. So that's why we decided to get a hold on um, Of these mass tracks that were at a really good discounted price um, Let me see the next item we got. It's um this utensils bag from Blue Ridge Overland. It's a really nice bag. We have, we currently have a utensils bag that um, it's, it's broken it ripped on the area that you carry it. So we decided to run with this um, over, Blue Ridge Overland um, utensils bag and it comes with the silicon um, utensil which is what you need for non-stick um, pots and pans. Um, it, it comes with two pouches here, they're gonna send them to me because they have to sell them for another customer But those guys are really good and they're gonna send me the pouches um, Kind of the ones that have like a transparent window that you can like write on it or see what it's on inside there And yeah, we, you, it has like this cool molly panel on the outside You can hang it to a molly panel or you can have it in your drawer So we really like this one um, with the utensils. Next thing that we needed was a tree saver or a tree hugger and we got this one from Colorado 4x4. Colorado 4x4 is a new company. They have um, really cool tents and cool gear and we really like how cool they were with us and how inviting they were with us. So thank you Colorado 4x4 and we were able to get a hold of this tree saver in a really good um, price too. And what's next? Um, fire starters. I know you can find fire starters everywhere, but we were impressed on seeing these things lighting up in the water. Um, they can last for up to 10 minutes and they can, you can save them like for up to 30 years. And they really last long. So the company is called Quick Survive and check them out guys. Um, you can buy this bag or you can buy like a can with um, that comes with a lot of more of these pouches um, They are really good. I also bought a like I found this really cool and I bought a Butane torch from them too as well. I didn't need it, but I liked it All right. um, Spices we usually season everything like with salt pepper and garlic um, so from Overland Spices, we went with the triple log, which is basically that and you can use it in, in many meats. Um, I like that concept, make sure you check them out too. Um, we also got dry food from Aspen Valley Farms. We were walking in the boots and we saw this place and we got impressed of, you know, of their product. They gave us a, some, some samples to taste and the cool thing about this is that this is um, real cook meal that they freeze dry and um, they keep their taste and as soon as you add water into them a little bit of hot water into them you can feel the smell and everything on this again and they don't taste synthetic or anything they taste really good they are organic they grow everything in their farm um, i really recommend them go check them out and they last up to i think 30 years or more um, if you store them so good for emergency and good for um, you know for taking it into your trip and thank you so much because uh, they gave us a free guacamole we need to try this one um, but yeah thank you they, they have guacamole they have desserts they have a lot of foods um, so go check them out this is a really good option for camping and they're organic they are really tasty um, 
The next, I think this was one of the most important items I was looking in the trip. It got cold, we were camping there, so it got cold and I needed an extra blanket and I was thinking of getting a down blanket and we found this company based on of Colorado too, it's called Bone Outdoors and this is a quilted blanket and it's, um, I think it's called 600, it is 600 feet um, down and that's a really good quality for a blanket based on what I was researching. Um, let me open it so you guys can see it. It, it folds really small but I oh mean I used it the first night and it was able to keep me like super super warm. warm. And yeah you can easily sort it back again in the, in the back since you know it releases the air and you can pack it again um, pretty tight. And it has, um, so if you buy another one, you can, uh, it has like these clips on the side that you can clip it to somewhere there. But yeah, pretty cool product and they really work. We tested like in, I think 40 or 39 degrees and it was super, it kept me super, super warm that night. So Leslie, how was the experience in More Expo for you? I think that More Expo was an amazing experience for us. Uh, it was our first time mm -hmm. assisting uh, in an expo and more gave us the opportunity to be in the storyteller area and be able to connect, share and, and teach others to uh, get out, explore more and get into this lifestyle which is the overlanding. Uh, and I think that what that's one of the of the rewards that we take from the more expo because not only what you can offer is but everything that you can learn from others and the community you build with other people i mean just sitting around a fire chatting with others is an amazing experience and, and it's really really uh worth it and not only to connect with others and meeting new people i think also the expos giving you the opportunity uh, to also buy a lot of things uh, in this time we had a, a a mini list of the things that we were needing it for mm -hmm. our next trips and more gave us the opportunity to uh, meet vendors and uh, not only sometimes we only see the products online and in this type of events they have it you know in stock and they have it in person so you can see it you can touch it and you can also uh, test it if you if you really want it and not only they want to sell they also uh, help you uh, with everything that you need they share info and also they, they provide you with everything that you need in order to have the best gear for overlanding. That's right. So if you're looking to get into overlanding or camping, an expo is a good way to find more information, know the products and mm -hmm. get a little bit more knowledge. Uh, on the East Coast, more expo happens in spring in the month of April. It's the biggest of the East and we highly recommend it and there's, any, and there's many more expos if you mm -hmm. search online the different overland expos across the United States yeah. um, any of those expos you're going to get great knowledge you're going to see how products works and you're going to be able to meet people, meet vendors and get the information that you need so we highly recommend it yeah. thank you so much for watching this video um, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to do our best to do more reviews of product and there's many more adventures video to come. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. See you next time guys. See you next time.